and so honored to have been asked to speak here today as a representative of the 2011 graduating class from Merrillhurst University. Fellow graduates, congratulations. We made it. <laughs> to our family, friends, and Merrillhurst faculty and staff, thank you for your support and guidance, which has helped each of us to be present here today. Merrillhurst is a special place. I realized this the first time I drove up to campus off of a windy, tree-lined Highway 43 and saw Mount Hood behind those beautiful brick buildings, which I later learned some of them were built in 1930s when the sisters founded that school and moved their small woman's college to its current location along the Willamette River. But it's not only beautiful because of the campus and the rich history it holds, but it's a special place to me because of the people who are drawn to it, who choose to work and study here. I had the pleasure of being both a student and an employee for the university admissions office. And I can truly attest that there are people who are kind, passionate, and innovative who find themselves at home here people who value education, social justice, and creative thinking. People who strive to be of service to others and to make a positive change in the world. I have come to know some of these wonderful people, as each of you has, and I'm proud to be a part of this Merrillhurst community. Like many Merrillhurst students, I had to work full time while attending school. Balancing life, work, and classes was not always easy. Sometimes I thought I might drop the ball. But with a strong determination, the help of those around me, and a whole lot of coffee, <laughs> I made it through with my head above water and my mind racing with new ideas. I was able to learn from professionals in my field and from the third and fifth grade students that I had the pleasure to student teach. I was pushed to think in new ways and encouraged to take chances. The great Maya Angelou once said, love life, engage in it, give it everything you've got, love it with a passion, because life truly does give back many times over what you put into it. This advice rings true to me and reminds me that our hard work is not yet over. Now we must go forth and live life with passion and drive. We must dedicate ourselves to taking what we've learned during our time here and using it to make a positive difference, no matter how big or small. I chose to return to school not only to earn a master's degree, but also to throw myself wholeheartedly into the world of elementary education. In an unsure job market, during a time of economic and social hardship, and upheaval over our public education system, I chose to change my career and pursue a life stream. I took a leap of faith that I'm still midway through. But I believe, I believe that my time spent studying here and with my students have prepared me to be the best teacher that I can be. Now it's my job to go forth and put that passion and energy into the classroom. I'm leaving here today feeling nervous, yet excited, to see what comes next, eager to take on those new challenges and use everything to guide me through my first years of student teaching, uh, my first years of teaching. We've all started to build our own toolbox to help us navigate our way through new careers or better ourselves in current ones. 
whether your degree is in music therapy, interior design, or education, you now have the opportunity to go forth and make a statement about what you believe in through your work and your actions in life. So live fully and remember to be present each and every day. To those graduating, I leave you with these parting words of motivation from one of my favorite authors, Dr. Theodore Geisel, better known as Dr. Seuss. Congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know, and you are the one who will decide where to go. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way.